Good evening, happy Monday, and welcome to Dice Friends here on the D&D channel. Whoa! Thanks so much for having us. It's like we've finally made it. <laughs> yeah, we made it here anyway. Last yeah. week. Last yeah. week we made it we here. We made it here last when week. When we just realized. Oh! Yeah. We took the long trek from our Twitch channel to this Twitch channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks the same though, really. As the, as our, it's remarkable how oh, the D&D headquarters have recreated our perfect set in our office in Victoria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hate flying back tonight. <laughs> Why? It's a gorgeous trip. Yeah, it really is. Have you ever yeah. taken the seaplane? I have. To it's Vancouver. Oh. Yeah. The Victoria Seattle seaplane is also Is it? Spectacular. I love Probably. it. Yeah. 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 yeah you get to see the get to see the the mm. the Olympic Mountain Range. And it's you get to fly gorgeous. into Lake Union, yeah. which is very cool. It's like 15 or 20 minutes in the air. Yeah, it's it's ludicrous. Anyway, we're just doing advertising for Harbor Air at this point. <laughs> yeah. um, it's not who we're advertising. No, we're not even advertising anyone. We're just uh, saying hello and good evening and welcome to Loading Ready Run Presents Dice Friends. Uh, this is session two of Dragon's Orders, and I don't actually think there's anything particular that we need to uh, discuss or anything before we... Hop in. Cool. Right? Game. He said questioning everyone. I'm yep. pretty sure that... I think we can any... Yeah, we can cover all the usual stuff at the beginning of the actual session. But mm -hmm. for pre-game stuff, I think we're good. All right. <laughs> that was pre-gaming. No, there was no, no pre-gaming for this. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get into it then. Welcome to Dice Friends. This is session two of Dragon's Orders, which we are playing with the fifth edition of Dungeons & Dragons from Wizards of the Coast. I'm Dale Friesen. I'm the Dungeon Master tonight. and We have four players who will introduce themselves. Kathleen? Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm going to be playing Mora, who's a level four elf rogue and a level one giggle mancer. <laughs> uh, that makes me that makes me laugh every time. Yeah. I, I wonder if I wonder if that's part of it. Having yeah. its intended effect. Yeah. Uh, my name is Paul, and I am going to be playing Dunde, who is uh, a newly level five Tabaxi monk, Ooh. who and he's learned that uh, how to um, punch people twice as fast as he did previously. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, that was already quite quick. Uh, and he's also learned uh, how to uh, stun people with the punches, which I feel like being punched by a six foot tall, extremely furry cat would be stunning. Like yeah. that, <laughs> that, that would put you back for a sec. Like yeah. that'd be, uh, uh, just a really, it's, it's six foot tall bipedal palace's cat. Yeah. It would be almost like being hit by a boxing glove because there's oh, so yeah. much fur. Mm -hmm. And those great little squishy beads. <laughs> well, the cat paws, right? Little beans. Yeah. Little beans. No. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, Oh, so cute! Yes, yeah. you get clocked. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, like yeah. a buck. It's like fur and then like iron inside. Yeah, right. the last thing you say is, oh, them bees! Before <laughs> you get knocked out cold. Uh, I'm Beach, and I'll be playing Bonton. Uh, I'm a albino hill dwarf, uh, native to the lands of Chult. Uh, Which is not where we are. No, no, we're in Faerun, uh, specifically Waterdeep. Um, and as you'll see, if you're, but you might not be able to see because you're listening to this on a podcast. Uh, I'm a level four dwarven cleric, but also have a level in gigglemancer and a level in necromancer because I came into my own at some point and decided that what the hell, why not? I guess I've always been a necromancer. There's got to be some sort of like grinning death, like combo in there. It's <laughs> mm, good. And I'm Graham, and I'm Snack. Who's a Batiri, a Cholton Goblin, and I'm a level five, newly minted level five fighter. Paul and I both, or I guess Donde and Snack, both level up after last session, which is fresh. Uh, I got a bumped my proficiency bonus and a second attack 
Mm. I get to attack twice. You're so angry. So, yeah. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> Snack and Dante got together and they're like, what if we what if we hit people more often? Yeah, what if, <laughs> what if I hit a guy? Could, could, I, could we do that? And hit a guy a second time in the same and we're six like, seconds. Grand innovation. And it's like, yeah. hey, I think you're onto something here. <laughs> So you could have been talking about that while you were hanging out upstairs in the bakery. Yeah, good idea, right. Because you went into the sewer tunnels beneath the bakery and you were mm -hmm. looking for the sewer monster, whatever it is, because you've agreed to get rid of it for the owner, Hollow the Halfling. Mm -hmm. um, because we are in Baker's Lane. Baker's, Baker's Alley. Alley. Baker's Alley, pardon me. Yes. In the middle of a... A bread war. So the, I wouldn't stay in Baker's Lane. I wouldn't <laughs> use the, I mean, war. It's more like a. Uh, it's more like a disagreement. It's a cold war. No, it's the baked goods are very warm and fresh, though. Yes, mm. they are. Yeah. So, you <laughs> you can't uh, spin cold sugar. <laughs> you came up from the sewer mm. um, into the bakery proper, and then into the upper room, which you've got for your use, um, and you've lain down there to get some rest, uh, still smelling presumably of sewer. And that's when you could have had this conversation. Hey, let's hit people more often. Yeah, um, perfect. And you perhaps snoozed a little, uh, perhaps tranced a little, perhaps chatted a little. That's up to you guys. And then Coral showed up. He's your contact right. from your boss, Malshax of the Dragon. Yes, right. Because that's the whole reason we're in Baker's Alley. Mm. Yeah, we were told <laughs> come to Baker's Alley. Go to Baker's Alley. Get Find accommodation in this place with no hotels or whatever. And mission accomplished. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if Coral had to check all the other bakeries as well. <laughs> anyway, they probably skip the ghost one. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> so Coral is a human, uh, medium height, brown hair, light skin, like the water deep humans, not like the chult humans. Right. He has a dark blue jacket that has a bright yellow lining. Mm. And he has sort of walked in on your sleeping area. Uh, you may have woken up or he, he may have had to say, hey, you know, wake up the sleeping rog arm guy. Um, and then he has some instructions for you. So over the past several years, Mal Shaxa has had various agents working in Waterdeep. Uh, two working directly for her and then they have presumably their own networks and so forth. These agents have gone missing. Oh. And, um, both, you, both of them? Yes, well, one of them went missing and was replaced, and the replacement has gone missing without explaining what happened to the first one. Um, perhaps they're just lost in the big city. Perhaps they need to be helped in some way or rescued or avenged or punished, so please deal with this. Um, I have some details for you about these people that um, don't need to be read out on screen, but um, your point of contact, you can hang on to those. Um, so uh, please deal with that. Any messages for Malshaxa? I think we've been settling all our own bills so far, so I don't think we... Uh, oh, else, wait, no. Um, the. Uh, the captain of the Glorious Lance. Yes. Right, yes, the captain of the Glorious Lance gave us gold? That's. Is this Graham not remembering? Or is this. Snack <laughs> just trying to spin uh, a yarn. No, Snack's not trying to spin a yarn. Okay. okay. Not with the dragon, sorry. Legitimately, so, yeah, the Captain of the Glorious Lands gave, gave, gave us a... Gave you free passage and lots of food. She was curious to know if he would try to charge you yeah. um, and ask you to let her know. Yeah. So he did not try to charge you. He fed you well. Yeah, and gave us gold that you said that we... You said that Snack wasn't sure. That wasn't him. Oh, okay. there was. There was a woman in Baldur's Gate who gave you gold. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you're right. Yeah, you're uncertain as to whether this this was a gift from Melshaxa or if she's going to be expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry. Our contact in Baldur's Gate gave us 800 gold. Is that for Melshaxa or is that for us to use? I will ask her. Okay. Does she like Croc? <laughs> yes. Good. She likes dwarf Croc. She likes um, Elf Crook. 
She likes um, halfling barbecued crocodile. She likes croc in many forms. Has she ever had a Throix? Anything by Throix? I have no idea. Well, she's in luck. We have samples of Throix for her and half a thing of cinnamon rolls, I think, that we didn't get around to finishing. Right, Mora? I'll have one for breakfast. Yeah, I'll have one as well. You know, let's, well. let's hold on to the cinnamon rolls. All right, fair enough. But here, she can have these. So I will not be seeing her for some time, although I will be getting her messages. I don't mind taking these, but I am unable to ferry them to her. Then you eat them and tell her how good they are. Thank you. And 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 tell her that the next time she is around, we'll get her some fresh crock. Yes. Be careful with that one. It's uh, the sugar oh. is spun into a conical matrix. It's a little delicate. How how, like I I have to think Mel Shaxon doesn't ever come to Waterdeep herself. But if she does, As we know dragon. how to hook her up with some good croc. That's not useless I th- information. I think where she finds good croc is going to be the least of her concerns. Look, as so dragons can shapeshift, right? Look, so. it's a can nice I? thing Thank to you. do. Have a good day. For oh, your, bye, yeah. Coral. Yeah. Bye, Coral. Cheers. It's a nice thing some to do for your can. boss to offer a culinary tour of a new place. Yeah, or right. maybe sh- maybe that's why she told us to get lodging here, because she she, she she was like, "You guys have got to try the croc in this place." Yeah, yeah. Tell me which <laughs> one is the right one. Because, you know, she's a busy lady, dragon, lady dragon. She doesn't have time to sample all three crocs, possibly. All right. Well, we'll, we'll report back on that aspect of the mission. Yeah. Well, I like that counterclockwise one best. So this is the busy time in Baker's Alley. This is, right, because it's early morning. People mm-hmm. are coming in. Uh, the restaurants are getting all their bread for the day. Uh, there's a lot of bustle. Last night when you were here, the, the place was dead. No one's here in right. the evening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now the, the alley is bustling, but there is some sort of commotion happening outside. I love commotions. <laughs> I, yeah, I've noticed okay. that about you. I'm, I'm encouraged. I was afraid that like nobody can't, like the way uh, Burlap talked about it, it sounds like, oh no, you don't want to go there. Nobody goes there. So I'm glad that this is actually a functional bakery place. N- nobody tourist-wise goes there. Mm. Is there a notable lack of people going to um, the tasty the tarts or whatever. Tasty tarts. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid there is. <laughs> uh, so poor tem- guy. Tempting tots. Uh. Tempting tarts. Poor right. guy. Oh, <laughs> ghost loaf ghost is in there, but we assume. We are inclined to believe. What if it's just two street urchins with some symbols? He's going to feel embarrassed. <laughs> I assume they made a better case. I assume whatever is haunting him made a better case than some symbols. Also, he's he's quite old, despite being 27. He could have been lying. Could have also been bad genetics. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, let's see what this... Uh, what's a genetic? <laughs> what's this commotion's all about? All right, so you go downstairs. Uh, Hollow's busy, you know, selling br- bread and tarts and so forth. Waves to you as you go by. I'm going to give him a high five. Uh, all right, so he reaches up. Maybe you're giving him a low five. <laughs> a mid-height uh, five. So uh, you get out, and uh, the delivery people are coming and going, but there is sort of a big discussion happening in the middle, and, and uh, in the center of all this is Burlap. And everybody's like, oh, hey, it's Burlap! And you know, Burlap's chatting with people, and people are you know, bringing their, their big carts by, and they're like, oh, hey, Burlap! And he's you know, waving. He, he told me he knew lots of people. Yeah, I guess so. popular. All right. And then he sees you and uh, you know, says, oh, they're my employers, gotta go. He, he comes on over, hey guys, uh, how'd you sleep? Excellent. Burlap, you didn't tell us you were so popular. I, I thought it was implied. <laughs> <laughs> by your outfits? By your name? Well, I'm just a real personable guy. I can see you're definitely worth the two gold pieces we're paying you per day. Yes. Does that mean I get a raise? No. Oh. <laughs> well, regardless, I have good news for you. Do tell. So, like you asked me to, I went to the Toxic Ember last night. And uh, you wanted me to report to everybody except you. Yes, that's right. What? Uh, about Mora Nihar. And I was like, don't tell me about it. If it's anything to do with my, my mom oh, or my Oh, I forgot stepdad. we'd asked Burlap to go there. Well, I think he was going there anyhow. Okay. So I kept my drinks receipts. <sighs> uh-huh. Anyway, so for tonight's show... Um, I talked to the owner of the club and told her about you and that you were from Schalt and interested and uh, she's got you VIP seats and you can go backstage after. Oh, and she gave me a letter. 
Oh no. Kevin, I think they're talking. I think they're talking. A letter. We might have to. Oh no. Where did Mora go? <laughs> Very proactive, this burlap. So, where are we going today? Uh, I might want just point out that uh, I'm going to be seen with you at this club. And you guys kind of smell like sewer. So, how about I show you a bathhouse? <laughs> Didn't know we were going to do one of these episodes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the letter? The letter says, Mora. I have heard that Chult was a great success for you. I would say so as well. I have another job that needs doing if you are interested. So many jobs. Hmm. Please come see me after the soda this evening. Feel free to go backstage first if you like. Hyvrin Sora. Is this Who? something we would have knowledge of by Who? this point? No, who's that? That, if I am remembering correctly, oh wonderful GM Dale, is the person that I talked to in the first place about going to Chult and rescuing the beautiful and endangered spotted Malfanda lizards. Yes. You, you did that. And you well, touched your cousin. One. In yeah, you rescued the one. Yeah. Good job. The, yeah, yeah. the dragonborn? Yes. Yeah. Huh. As I say, beautiful and spotted Malfanda lizards, can, can Kevin just bleh a little bit? <laughs> like a belt. She sure does. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Whenever he likes. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, do we, do we want to uh, be, be made a little more presentable? I need to clean my hat. Oh yeah, you have a hat. Now. I have a brand new hat. You guys did not comment on it at all. <laughs> Mora was so pleased to pick it out for me, and you've said nothing about my hat. <laughs> we have Back made. when we were in Baldur's Gate, and she's like, "This would suit you," and I'm just, "Yes, indeed." Does it? And you were like, "Oh, no, right. absolutely! It looks amazing. It hides all the worst parts of your head." And you two said nothing. <laughs> we've got new, we've uh, got new character portraits for three of us this week. Yes. <laughs> I. Uh, I, I, I like that we, we spent a whole bunch of time wading through sewage, and your hat is the part that you wanted. That's like the one part not covered in sewage. It's very absorbent. Yeah. Okay, where can I go where I can take Kevin for a wash, too? Is there like a dog salon around here? <laughs> well, there are a lot of places in Chilltown where you could do stuff like that. But if you're going for a bath, you shouldn't go back in the sewers after. I didn't need to tell you that, did I? <laughs> no. It would seem this. kind of a moot point. It would be like throwing up on your car after washing it. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so... Uh, I'm just your guide, guy. Oh. Uh, tell me what we're doing. All right. Uh, let's go... Let's go take a bath. But first, can I run an errand? Yeah, you want some help? Sure, actually. Come with me. Okay, All see right. you guys. Wait, where's the bathhouse? Can you point us towards the bathhouse? Chilltown's over there! And there's a bathhouse in... in uh, at, go to the Shrieking Nat! What a, what a colorful name for a bathhouse. It's a chult name! Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you not want us to come with you? Well, I want to go to the girl and lizards only bath. Okay. That's well, not suspicious at all. No, I just want to... I, I want to go see our paladin friend. I'm going to work on him. He seems like he seems like he's a nice guy, but he seems like he's got maybe some inner or outer demons that need to be exercised. Wait, I feel like I could get through to him through the power of friendship. He's the one who lives up above the other bakery and isn't paying the yeah. Direction. The guy, the guy, live, the guy who lives upstairs in the flower tower. Yeah, yeah. He's with not the seven paying. foot long sword. Yeah, with a seven foot long sword. Tried to kill sword. Kevin. Yeah, he tried to kill you. Yeah, but he didn't do a very good job at it. So let's try again, shall we? He sounds reasonable and incompetent. Well, why don't you guys come with me? <laughs> Thank you for not splitting the party. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Why why do you want to talk to this guy right now? I'd like to check things off my list early in the morning. And realistically, I know I smell like sewage, but he's a crazy man who refuses to pay rent, so I don't think he's in a position to be judging me about my personal odor. I, it's not going to stop him. Well, whatever. Anyhow, I'm going to go win him over with the power of friendship, cuddly lizards, and a baker, and some sort of baked good, which I'll be buying in the flower tower. And I guess we're going to watch, walk our sewer-smelling asses into a bakery that's doing good business this morning. Well, I was... I'll wait outside. Maybe I can yell in the window again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good point. If, if he thinks... If, you, if he mistakes you for his inner demons, just yell back, 
don't kill the incredibly intelligent and brave elf because she's great. Just like that snack. Question. Yes. Why are you going to buy him stuff from the flower tower? He literally lives there. I'm lazy and I don't want to, like, I don't know him well enough to, like, find out if he's, like, into something else. Like, if we get to know him and I find out he's actually just, like, really jonesing for some pepperoni sticks, maybe I'll do that later. But right now, I feel like a well-placed chocolate chip cookie is not going to earn him, like, is not going to earn me any less friendship points. Okay. So, you're staying outside. Yeah. And you three plus Burlap and Kevin. Oh, this is a big party. Here, hold I'm... Kevin. Okay. I've oh. got Kevin. Uh, so, <laughs> there's yes. three foot seven, thirty seven pound snack is holding this fifteen pound Milfanza lizard. Well, maybe you can ride him. <laughs> do, you, do you like immediately put him down? Yeah. Or? He, does, does he have some sort of leash? Uh, he's pretty. He's pretty docile, but yeah, we'll say he's got his, Kevin's his, his yeah. own lizard. How are how are lizards for stacking purposes? Wonder. I mean, I might have to find out. Yeah, yeah. Hold the hold, hold his leash. It's more just for show. Okay. He's so, never gonna run away. I mean, back in the Samolo Plateau, these lizards were very bitey, but this one has been so ridiculously overfed. Yeah. That it just spends all its time just sort of waiting to have a heart attack. I guess. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there, there, there's like, there is like a, a the, the paladin's has like a big window yeah. that he was yelling out of before, right? Yeah, and right. I was yelling into. Yeah. Is yeah. it open right now? It is not. Okay. Did, um, you, did you want to scale the side of the building and peer in? I was thinking about that. I mean, I can climb really well. Yeah. Uh, oh, reconnaissance. It's the best thing to do when you try to make friends with somebody is spy on them first so that you know how to win them over. <laughs> it's a window in the sense of like, like just shutters, right? right. Like it's not like there's no glass. glass and stuff. I think right. you're being sarcastic, Bonton, but it doesn't seem like a bad idea because he wasn't armed with a seven foot long sword. I didn't use the voice, so that wasn't Bonton speaking. <laughs> oh, okay. I just had an idea, but it seemed like weird, so I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> also, there's the other, the other thing with scaling the 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 places. There's just like. Dozens of people are just kind yeah. of wandering around you. Yeah, there are delivery that, people all over the maybe place. Maybe that's not a great idea. Look, right that now. cat is scaling that house. Yeah, but cats always climb things. Yeah, but a six foot cat is a rare occurrence, I would assume. Yeah, but uh, we're in water deep. Uh, Statues come to life here. Yeah, and you're right near Chilltown. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. It would still be that guy is scaling that thing. Yeah. yeah. Not. <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there? Yeah. Wait, wait, Shut wait, up. wait, wait, wait. Here, I have an idea for plausible deniability. Here, take this cinnamon bun from yesterday, and then you can scale the window, knock on it, and try to give him a cinnamon bun. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're not scaling for any weird purposes. You're just a very dedicated delivery person. Oh. Thanks, Dante. <laughs> can you, or come inside. So can, like, can, you, can you all just go inside? inside? Yeah, I'm going inside with Mora. Says, says Snack, <laughs> standing there holding Kevin's lead. I think Kevin has curled up in the sun. Terrific. I give Kevin a little pat on the head before I go. Be good for mummy, Kevin. <laughs> All right. What the hell? I'll, I'll climb up the cool. thing. Cool. Give me a climb check, please. Uh, I have a climb speed. Awesome. Then the, you that, don't need that. That's uh, good enough. Okay. So I have up thirty to go. foot climb speed. So awesome. Is it more than thirty feet up? It is not more than thirty feet up. It's a second story window. All right. Um, so the shutters are loose, like uh, they, you could rattle them a little, they, they there, look like they're in like need a, of maintenance. So like a crack or anything that I could see you through? Could, you could probably peer through, sure. Uh, he, so you look inside and you see Mar, it looks like he's painting something very vigorously. Uh, alright, painting. Can, I, can't, I can't see what he's painting. I think you're at the wrong angle. Mm. You could try to open the shutters. Give me a shutter opening roll for when I'm 25 feet in the air with a cinnamon bun in one hand. <laughs> Do you have that skill? Uh, <laughs> yes, actually. It's awesome. Weird. Give me a roll. It kind of went off the side of the piece of paper, but <laughs> I'm assuming it says cinnamon. You know how hard it is to find a character sheet template with that one on it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, this would be what? Uh, I'm guessing probably a, a straight dexterity check. Dexterity? Sure. I will. Cinnamon bun delivery, I guess. Uh, 
That ooh, geez. That is a twenty-six <laughs> on my open shutters while holding a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Right. Turns out it's one of the things that I'm really good at. All wow. right. So you never know until you try. You have opened the shutters and you're looking inside and you can see that he's painting. He's a terrible painter, but he's got mm -hmm. uh, some sort of, it, it's not a canvas, but we'll call it a canvas. Um, and he's painting uh, Mora and Friendly Truly Good, who is his landlord, right. um, except they seem to be um, kind of in bits, and he's making the background all red. Ah. Uh, then he kind of turns around and looks at you. Ah. Cinnamon bun delivery. Oh, <laughs> thank you. These have been very lax lately. And he comes over and he takes the cinnamon bun, oh. and it's like, oh, oh, wait right there. And he goes off and he comes back and he gives you two copper. Thank you, sir. At least it's thank not you. a holy symbol. <laughs> Wonderful painting. Ah, yes, it's, it's, I haven't added myself to it, but it's me smiting the local evil. Oh, these, are these, these, uh, is, th this is like something that has already happened? No, I like to commemorate my events, my great victories with paintings, but uh, it's better if I do them first, because then it helps me figure out what my victories are going to be. I had a victory over uh, unbodied spirits yesterday, and that was a tricky one to paint. And if I had painted it first, the victory probably would have been clearer. I can I can see how how painting an invisible spirit would be difficult. Okay, let me paint him. Are are just casually looking around the room? Are there other paintings that have red as a predominant color? <laughs> right. So um, there was a section that was kind of covered yesterday. He was throwing stuff around, but it has all been uh, revealed now. And he's dumped a bunch of stuff like on his bed. And yeah, there are a bunch of paintings. You can see there's one that he's painted over several times and the paint is wet of him vanquishing empty space. <laughs> wow, you really, you really took care of that, uh, that invisible spirit, I, I can see from it, the it was a good. It was a good victory, but I'm still having trouble with the painting. Mm. Uh, when, when, do you, uh, when do you intend to um, make this particular painting um, happen for real? Well, I have to add myself to the painting, and then I have to decide where I'm doing this, and then I can put in a background. Mm. Did, did you have uh, some thoughts about where it would happen? Oh, I have many thoughts, yes. Thank you for asking. <laughs> he's very talkative what, to delivery what, man. Yeah, what, what, what would he's you say uh, in would be the most likely place that this would happen? Uh, probably one of two places, either wherever I am or wherever they are. That's That makes sense. Right, but I don't know um, if they're in the same place. Hey, is that someone on the stairs? Somebody pass me the PHB, please. <laughs> <laughs> I might need it. All right. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for the cinnamon bun. It was tasty. I I guess that you are getting company. I guess so. Have a good day, Mr. Cat Delivery Guy. He comes over and, and latches the shutters. And, but, and I, okay, I guess I will. Actually, I'll, I'll just like <laughs> be there, like under the. <laughs> So one of the one of the bakery delivery What's guys it? down on the street is like looking at snack. He's like, you you see that guy? Is he? Huh? Oh, the cat? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Like, All right. Okay. Like look look down like thumbs up. <laughs> see, he's fine. <laughs> uh, the delivery guys are gonna get mad at me for like, hey, he's taking our job. The guild's gonna get upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you hear a commotion. Because he's having to move everything around again to get his sword out. Did he? Okay. Does he know who's at the door? Nope. Yet? Oh, he's just working into the assumption that he will probably want to stab whoever's at the door. As opposed to the window where only safe people come through. <laughs> right. I mean, he's probably muttering, oh, I bet that's my landlord now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'll be like, Looking through the little crack that was sure. there, ready to come in if 
bad stuff starts happening. I mean, you'll have to unlatch it again. We've shown that you're good at it. Yeah. I'm not even holding a cinnamon bun this time. Oh, different skill then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you are holding the two coppers. So I'll, I'll, I'll be generous and let you use the same skill. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, knock, 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 knock. I don't have my sword yet, just a sec. Oh, you don't need the sword. Come on out. Let's ha let's wrap. Wait, you're not my landlord. Absolutely not. I'm your friend. You just don't know it yet. All my friends are dead. <laughs> mm. Whose fault is that? <laughs> Bonton, shh. Who's dark. that? It's time to make some new friends from the land of the living. All right, I can kill more friends. Just a second! <laughs> oh, wow. I heard that right. Oh, of yeah. Course. Uh, I mean, he doesn't speak at a normal speaking voice. And friendly, truly good is kind of looking up the stairs at you. It's like, everything okay? I got this one way or the other. I feel like as long as I stay here... Yeah, you he, stay there. He leaves me alone. You don't have any combat training, do you? Not... I mean, I, I live in Waterdeep, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> could I, could I get like two cookies when you're when I'm done here? Yes. Perfect. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll go get those cookies for you because no, no, I don't have burlap. combat training you, you either. Burlap, you said that everybody loves you. I said many people love me. He did say that. All right, mm -hmm. that's fair. Could you go? I'm not there, but I. Uh, wait. Can I make that three cookies? Do you want a cookie burlap? Uh, I don't feel the need to be, um, selfish and take other people's food oh, but I that we buying, need I for living and growing our fleshy bits. <laughs> yeah. But I'd be buying it just for you. It's not selfish. It's a gift. It'd be rude not to take it, Burlap. Yes, I would love a cookie. Great. Uh, you can tell Friendly if you want chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin or, ooh, do you have, like, the, the nut butter ones? Well, I do a special for Chultons that have bugs in them. Oh, perfect. Great. Uh, I'll get one chocolate cookie and one bug cookie, and Burlap can have whatever he wants. Uh, yes, I'll go work that out with her now. Yeah. So he goes back down the stairs, and the door flies open, and uh, Mar is there, and he's got his seven-foot-long sword. Hi, Mar! He's like, hey, you're the demon woman. I'm not a demon. I'm a friend! You have the tail! It's... It's uh, it's a feature. Yes! Uh, and he swings his sword at you. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, I was sort of expecting that because he said he was getting his sword. I, I <laughs> feel like but I maybe... didn't under foreshadow. No, no. Not, not at all. all I'm right. just, how is the, is the doorway uh, larger than seven feet? Um. <laughs> the the doorway would be roughly seven feet. Um, Is the doorway I'm, just, I'm just wondering how you swing a seven foot long sword <laughs> in <laughs> at someone on the other side of a doorway. So I feel like the dice have answered the question because I rolled a natural one. Oh, <gasps> well, just embeds in the door frame. Well, at least, well, at least sure. I will at accept least, the uh, player generated box text. The, well, the, the at sword least around. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I'm there too, right? Yeah. It's so if you like, initiative? <laughs> you may roll initiative. I rolled his as soon as you said you were going up to talk to him. So uh. four for Bonton. Sixteen for Mora. Uh, am, I, am I rolling initiative? You're watching Kevin. I mean, you heard a big thunk. I guess. I and feel like, it, if there, like yeah. If running. nothing else, then I heard the thunk, and I'm like sixteen for Mora. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh my goodness. 20 for Dante. 20 for Dante. I, I don't entirely know what your objective is here. Are you just going to kill the paladin? Is that Absolutely the idea? not. Okay. But we're an initiative, so. We yeah. are. <laughs> have, 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 have you told the rest of us that yeah, we're not I'm, killing I'm the glad, paladin? I'm glad you decide your objective. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know what mine is. That's to keep when my I friends alive. Yeah, when I see somebody attack my friend with a seven foot long sword. I, that's different. So, um, I see Heather has the initiative tracker up. Nice. I rolled a 12 if it... Uh, so I will put you into initiative and you can tell me when it's relevant. How's that? Sounds good. I, yeah. I 
I need to buy some new dice that know how to roll high numbers. Mm. Oh, no, those don't exist. Yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> they, they work great for everyone until you start using them. Yeah. I mean, you there are dice that only roll high numbers, but you those just are just got to number them differently. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Donnie, you seem to be first in initiative. You've seen this happen, sort of. You're looking through the cracks. And You're then, hanging outside the window. It, the shutters are closed. Yeah. So I guess uh, I guess it'd be an action to force open the shutters. Yes, I shall do so. Okay, rolling on my shutters and oh, that's not good. That's a natural one, which is an eight. All mm -hmm. right, for my dex check. So I think you've rattled around and your claws have gotten caught in the <laughs> shutters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't what? don't. What are you doing? <laughs> He's got a big sword and tried to attack somebody. Tried to attack Mara. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sir, That's I not should surprising. Be, be like, through the shutters, be like, uh, Sir, uh, I should give you your change. <laughs> <laughs> um. On two coppers? <laughs> so I believe Mora is up. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, I'm he, going he's to just use. just swung a sword at you. Yes, I'm going to use uh, some of my spells because I don't want to kill this guy. So I'm going to use vicious mockery to try and talk <laughs> some sense into him. Yes, that always works. <laughs> All right, uh, which is you unleash a string of insults, but and I think you must see succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Or you take one d4 psychic damage. Oh right, what's my target number? <laughs> I don't want to uh, hurt him. I just want to I take psychic damage. I believe your <laughs> spell save DC I is. I got a sixteen. Uh, well, you succeed because it's charisma, right? It is. So mine is, my charisma is so 14, so it's... Eight, eight plus your charisma plus 13. your proficiency. Okay. All right, so she's it's 13. Just, she's just swearing. Well, hold on. No, I'm not going to swear at him. I'm going to say, look, stop being such a naughty paladin. You are being very rude to those around you who just want to help. Your landlord has let you off rent-free for several months, and this is how you repay her kind of... She has not once tried to exercise your clearly present brain ghosts. Exorcise? That's what I should do. I should do exorcising. Yeah, that was a really, really cutting... Well, it's... He, that's that's just just probably why it, it's that's why it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. It wasn't vicious enough. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was just kind of, like, there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so that was your action. It didn't yeah. work. Yeah. You, well, that's fine. You could leave, you could... No, I'm going to cross my arms. Okay. <laughs> um, snack, you doing anything? <laughs> Running up the stairs. Like, you're going to tie Running? off... Running? Well, you're going to tie off the... You're going to sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up Kevin oh, and God. walk through the front door. How busy is it in the bakery? Uh, so, the deliveries have all happened. Okay. Um, Friendly is chatting with Burlap. And she looks over and she's like, oh, sorry, no pets in here. <laughs> Burlap, could you keep an eye on Kevin, please? Uh, yeah, I'll just take him outside. That'd be great. And I walk here, upstairs. Here, Kevin, have a bug cookie. <laughs> Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to give Kevin. Burlap's so good at his job. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining Burlap eating a cookie as like a Muppet, eating it like that. Nom, 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 no yeah. actual cookie goes anywhere. <laughs> the entire volume of cookie just fires out in crumbs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so... Uh, oh, Mar and I ask, I ask Friendly to have a... to set a chocolate chip cookie aside for did, me when I come back down. Did Friendly ever actually ask us to solve this problem? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she? She sort of complained about it. Yeah. Uh, she seemed you, very on edge. You asked her if there was if she had a room, and the answer was yes, but she couldn't give it to you while the non-paying tenant was staying in it. Right. And I went, everyone loves me. I can solve this problem. Yeah. I think she might even have said you could have it for cheap if you got rid of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, that was also the hollow deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that she she meant kill him, apparently. Uh, as well. Yeah, apparently assuming. you're assuming that. Uh, so I'm not assuming that. Well... Uh, so, Mar has his sword back, and he's going to swing it at Mora again. Okay. Well. In case it wasn't clear, I'm not really going with any sort of, like, urgency. <laughs> I, I thought that, that that was clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I rolled just ridiculously badly. What's my uh, target number? Uh, my thoughts? AC is 15. Yeah. 
Yeah, I rolled three dice, and my total on the three dice is five. <gasps> wow. Wow. This guy's a bad one of those paladin. was a d20 to hit, and the greatsword does 2d6 plus stuff. So I just rolled all my dice at once. Right. Yeah, yeah, I did not hit you. Wow. All right. So, Woof. the paladin sucks. At least he didn't hit the door frame this time. That's right. That's a very good point. Uh, now I'm quite irritated. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bonten, then end of round, then Dondi. <sighs> uh, Shield of Faith, Mora. Okay. That's one bonus action. Uh, it's. It, duration for up to 10 minutes as long as I concentrate. Okay. Uh, needs, uh, it's just basically a shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting it a plus two bonus to AC Ooh. for the next 10 minutes. That'll be handy for me not getting smote with a sword. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> You've been very, very lucky so far. That's a bonus action? That's a bonus action. Cool. So I still have the ability to move, mm -hmm. though I don't know what I would do. Uh, I mean, we're all fighting in the door frame at this point. Yeah, I think maybe once I get my turn, I'm probably going to try to it go could inside. Just hit this guy. Isn't he in the doorway? Well, he's on one side of the doorway, and Mora's on the other side of the doorway. There's no reason to believe there's anything magical going on here, right? I mean, you. Mm. She tried think, to like, cast a spell. Is yeah, it he's being possessed? Or uh, yeah, anything along that line, like. Um, because I, I have detect magic, I could cast detect magic. Okay, you got to yeah. do something. I know. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to hit this guy. Sure. He has a bucket full of magic item. Or, or, or like, uh, yeah, those would symbols. glow for sure. Well, they don't, they're they're holy symbols. They wouldn't necessarily be magic. That's a fair point. Um, all right, let's try to hit this dude. Ah, uh, right. <clears throat> Where's my attack workspace? Oh, I hate this. I rolled an eleven. Um, Crap. Uh, what damage did you do? Because he is not wearing his armor at the moment. Oh, okay. So, two-handed flint battle axe because it's versatile. Uh, it's 1d10 plus... I rolled a four. Do I add my strength to that? Is that how that works again? Yes. I never hit people. <laughs> that's true. So, I rolled a four plus two, that's six. Okay, you've done six damage. Anything else this turn? Uh, no. Okay. Dawn Day, are you doing anything? Trying to open the door. <laughs> the, All right. The, the shutters again. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it this time. Open the shutters. You have advantage on this one. Yeah, so that's, uh, oh, well, with, that's a 12 with advantage. Yeah, that's a 26 again. Okay, well, you definitely <laughs> get the shutters open. Uh, that, that would be my action. Yep. So he, he sees you and is like, oh, hey, hey you should jump. watch this because I'm going to do amazing stuff. I've got a victory jump in, coming up. Jump in. Uh, no, no, you can't attack. You can't kill Mara now. Uh, it wouldn't work with the, you have to finish the painting the first. The painting's not done yet. Yeah, yeah. the painting's <sighs> not done yet. And the, and you have to you have to do the both at the same time. And this is the wrong spot. Sure. And also, you a, haven't drawn you on the painting yet. G give me a uh, talking to insane people who think they're paladins skill check, please. I, that would be deception. Wait, is it deception or uh, persuasion? Persuasion. It's the same skill for me, <laughs> so, and I'm not good at it. Oh, that's bad. That's good. How are you not that's charismatic? Look how fluffy you are. <laughs> uh, but I'm. I mean, I'm charismatic in that way. But uh, that's a that's a six. Oh, I meant to tell you. Um, I have decided not to do inspiration as written this time. Uh, I'm going to let you decide to use inspiration after you roll. I think it's just more fun. Mm. Okay. All right. Cool. So if you, and I know you all had inspiration at this point. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying you should use it, but I felt like I should remind you of that right. stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a six. Okay. Well, a six is like, ah, uh, well, that sounds like a good point, And I don't know why it's not true. <laughs> but uh, we can talk about it after when you buy me a beer. How did he? <laughs> is he more charismatic? How did you fail so bad that the paladin's like somehow you're buying him a beer now <laughs> after he kills you? Yeah, he doesn't no, want to kill me. No, uh, this is his buddy who uh, just gave him a cinnamon bun. That's a good point. Yeah, this is the cinnamon bun delivery guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, you've moved into the room. You've talked to him. You've opened the. I, I think that's all you're doing. Yeah. Uh, Mora, what you doing? Uh, okay, I'm still standing at the door with my arms crossed, right? Uh -huh. He's taken a, he's taken down two swings at me. Yes. All right. Because uh, hmm. he said last time he thinks you're a demon. 
Yeah. Well, I'm only partially demon, so that's very untrue. <laughs> I'm, how yeah. dare he? Yeah, it's quite rude. He's he's st he's stereotyping, and he doesn't even know me. <laughs> All right. So I feel like trying to get into the room is not necessarily going to work with him standing there with a big sword. Mm. Uh, and I'm more of like a stealth character, but I do have all these giggle monster cells. And he thinks I'm a he thinks I'm a demon anyhow. So right. time not. for stealth, I believe, has passed. Oh, so you are, are you summoning a demon? No, uh, but I am going to I am going to be like, look, buddy, I'm just trying to be here, and uh, I'm just trying to work out a situation and to everybody's favor. And you're being quite rude to me, and I would like you to move so I could enter your apartment. <laughs> And to that end, I'm going to cast Infestation, which through mine uh, manifests as a big cloud of fleas, which I'm sure he'll hate. In, so in, in a bakery, second floor. Ooh, dear. They're magical fleas. <laughs> oh, that's better. Do you get to make them go away later? I think they go away. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good history with, with stuff not going well, away. We'll Do see I get a happens. saving throw against this? Uh, yeah, let me just double check about the flea leaving, but you the, you need to well, make I mean, a con you, save, or you take 2d6 damage and you move 5 I mean, feet I don't in think a random cast direction. This before, so maybe you don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a 12. Uh, all right, and my, your spell save would be 13. So, okay, so, so I am moving away uh, out of the doorway. And Fantastic. I have Isn't it fleas. random? Didn't you say random direction? Well, random direction. Yeah. Okay, let me roll a d8. I guess which way they're forcing him to... Uh, directly away from you. Okay, perfect. All right, let me just double check on the infestation thing. Uh, and you take 2d6 damage, so... All right. And I'll roll... Do you want me to roll the damage? Yes, please. All right, I got 2d6s right here. Ooh, eight. Okay. Those are angry fleas. They are angry fleas. That so, sounds awful. Yeah, well, he was quite rude to me. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> All right. So what, while he's going, ah! What, I'll be what, like, what is the objective? <laughs> Snack, you're up, uh, then it's him, and then it's Bonton. Yup. Uh, I have this club. Uh huh. That I'm going to try and use to, like, smack him. Is okay. the, are the fleas going to like attack us if we get close to them? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I wasn't there. I assume this is mostly Mora's fault somehow. So I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm using the club because I'm not trying to kill this guy. Okay. But I might. All I'm, right. So you move up to him and you smack him with a club. Are you Are you doing like non leaf No. You're. Hey, he's just hitting him. Okay. Yeah. How's it? How's he look? Clubs don't kill. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks like he's regretting not wearing his armor. Uh, he's taken a little bit of damage, but not a lot. He's taken 14 points. I, I rolled a, 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 a <clears throat> I rolled a natural 20. <gasps> so. Well then, um, roll dice twice. And I feel like that's kind of what Snack does, though. He just comes up to people and sort of cleaves them in two. <laughs> uh, Where's even his nice green sword, though? Cleaving somebody in two with a club is a real trick. <laughs> It's all in the wrist. My strength is two, so, so that's eight plus eleven, so nineteen. Nineteen. Wow. Well, it's uh. d. It says it's a d ten. Okay, so you roll the d10 twice, and then you yeah. add your strength modifier. Oh, only add the strength modifier once. Yeah. Seventeen. Then. Seventeen. Oh well. I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Infestations in the uh, like expanded PHP, so I can't check right now what, how like where the is it, fleas go. Is it just like is it a mental oh, thing? Like on. it's in his head, or is it, are they real fleas? Uh, <laughs> infestation, they're real fleas. Like that. Uh, that's what it looks like. How's he doing? Oh, perfect. Uh, I mean, he he to use a fourth edition phrase, he's not bloodied. Huh. Well, I have a second attack now. So okay. <laughs> oh hey. Um. Seventeen. Seventeen's gonna hit him. It doesn't specify whether or not the fleas leave or not. Mm -hmm. For four. You're doing it. For doing four it. damage. The whole attacking again thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> I get it now. Okay. This is a specific club, by the way. If if anyone's wondering, this is the stone embedded club. Oh, okay. So does, far, I have. Does you rolling a twenty, mate? 
Do no, only it? it's uh, rolling a one. Oh, oh. Still there's three little check boxes here that I fill out every time I roll a one, and when I when I get when I roll the third one, I have to tell Dale. Okay, but I know I know that some hasn't of them happened yet. I know some of them fire on uh, natural twenty. So yeah. Ooh. So it's Mars' turn. So he's pretty unhappy, um, and he uh, says, "You know, you might be onto something." But I'm not quite sure how to do your plan. Uh, and then he swings his sword at Mora because that's what he knows how to do. I don't think I have a plan. Because you were trying to talk him into something. He figured out that much. <laughs> Just talking him into not attacking. Oh, good. How's a 27? Does a 27 Absolutely hit? Absolutely, you're going to hit me on a 27. Uh -oh. I think I'd be quite hurt, I imagine. Uh, no. Oh. You're only taking 11 points of damage, which is lower than average. Uh, that's not bad, actually. All right, yeah. so... He does immense emotional damage. That's like a third... That's like a, over a quarter of my life. Also physical. So I've got super high HP now. Thanks to Giggle Mancer level. <laughs> well, uh... Ow! <laughs> Having having uh, high HP is important for a Gigomancer, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> People just want to punch you, and I don't know why. Bonton, what uh, you doing? Oh, God. I had all this time to look through it. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Uh, that's one bonus action. You create a floating spectral weapon within range. It lasts for duration. Uh, so I'm... When you cast a spell, you can make a melee spe spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. So I'm going to create it. It's within sixty feet. So I and create it right next to this dude. That's not a concentration spell, right? That is not a concentration spell. Excellent. Yeah, I figure because then it would override the first one. So I get to make a melee spell attack. Cool. Against Mar. That's a fourteen. And um, that uses your wisdom, right? Uh. Yeah, right, because I would do plus three to that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's actually 17. Okay, 17 hits him. 17 hits him. Um, and it's that big heavy mace. Uh, so now we roll 1d8 plus spellcasting ability mod card. Where's my d8? How, I wonder if it is a heavy mace. It's probably not heavy. Six. It's an energy thing. Six plus six, uh, that's 12. Okay. And that's my that's a bonus action, so I still have All my right. own attack wow. to make. Okay, Ooh. do something. All right, uh, I uh, s just swing that flint battle axe. I rolled an 18 plus uh, two, pl and I'm profici proficient. I forgot about that, so it's actually right. plus five. So that's 23. That'll hit. That'll hit, uh, and it's 1d10 because I'm swinging two-handed. What was that? Five plus strength is seven. So, yeah, s seven. Seven damage. Seven damage. Big round. Yeah. Nice. Uh, this guy's tough. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is that is it. That is it. That is it. Yeah. Yes. All right. So it's Donde and then Mora. So, uh, what's your plan? Because I'm ready for it now. <laughs> uh, stop attacking. Lay down your sword. That never works. I. Mor Mora didn't want to attack you originally. I don't know what she wanted to do, but it wasn't attack you, I don't think. <laughs> I would never attack someone without provocation. Okay, if you move out of the way, I'll dive out the window. That basically solves our problem. <laughs> the problem, the idea was to get him to leave, right? Well, but like, you know... In, you know in don't maybe. listen to our plans! <laughs> I mean, leave, but like, not come back. Or like leave and like go Throw like check into like a nice farm where he could relax. <laughs> okay, you, okay, you can't yeah, have yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the plan. Sure. All right. Yeah. So I I'll step aside and like throw open the window. Possibly give him an extra little shove as he <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> Make sure he gets some good air. You're doing the help action, so he has advantage on his jump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> on on, so on advantage advantage on uh, distance. Distance. All I right. Should say. No. <laughs> Thanks, cinnamon bun delivery guy. So uh, glad he didn't pick up on the fact you knew her name. Yeah, I was. I was wondering about that. 
I'm so upset. This is not what I wanted to happen. But this well, is, it's your I'm, turn. So you didn't make tell whatever us what you wanted, wanted to happen. happen. Okay, what did it, you okay. want to happen? Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's my, I get to go. You Great. get to go. Okay. Um, Dale. Yes. I have a point of inspiration. Yes. I want to cast Thaumaturgy, which is a manifest of minor wonder, a sight of supernatural power within range. Uh, could I use inspiration to try and do two things at once with Thaumaturgy? I would like to make the lights flicker and to make my voice loud. Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say. So I'm going to make the lights flicker, flick, 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 and I'm going to make my voice loud, 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 and I'm going to go, Mar, you are being a real jerkwad. Leave this room and leave friendly, smiley face, the very nice baker who didn't do anything wrong to you alone, and go find some place where you could, like, pet a sheep or do some sort of therapeutic thing in a forest somewhere. My, my, my plan had him leaving the room, too. Yeah, but I want to scare him away. <laughs> I want him to think I'm a, some sort of supernatural being. So he's I'd scared like, already. He kind uh, of does. Some sort of deceive the crazy paladin check? Yes, okay. Well, I already Or frighten the crazy paladin check? All right, um... This intimidate is a thing, right? It is. Okay, well, that's a, my charisma, so that's a plus two. Come on, boy. Four. Oh. <laughs> While I try. You haven't heard the last of me, disembodied spirit! I will have my revenge! Nuts. Snack? He was literally looking at you speaking and still thinks it's a disembodied spirit. <laughs> Is he still in the room? Uh, well, he hasn't had a turn yet. So yeah. he's, he's, uh, he has he's yelling indicated to the, yeah. that he's going to leave, but you guys are faster than him. So it would be rude of me to have him leave before you have a chance to do things to him. <laughs> Diving tackle out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you could ready an action to decapitate him if he doesn't leave. I'm going to go get my cookie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ready an action to get cookies. <laughs> just like, I just look at him, look at Mora, and like what's going on, and I'm just like. Uh, this problem's about to be solved. Yeah, <laughs> one I'm, way or another. I'm really tempted to like trip him as he goes by, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So um, you're giving Mar advantage on his leaping out the window check. Mm -hmm. So he gets good distance on that and um, thuds down. And uh, he's basically in his skivvies carrying a great sword. Mm hmm. Okay. Do you rob him now? Like this, like the stuff in his room. Yeah, or I think we look around in his room. Sure. Do we throw all <laughs> of this crap into the street? Is he alive? Yes. Oh, good. It's not that far fall. It's a second-story window. He's still a big, tough, fallen paladin. Friendly can take care of <laughs> chucking stuff <laughs> out of his room if she wants. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oops. I mean, <laughs> okay, hold on. Can I? How big is this chest of of uh, holy symbols? A uh, couple feet wide and maybe a foot and a half high. So, and like, deep. liftable? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up the chest of holy symbols and uh, Dante can have a little help here. Wait, what are you doing with it? What I'm do you want? Throw it to him so because he thinks they're valuable. They're, I don't want I'm not just... in the room. I, w I was going to throw, I was gonna throw uh, his, his. I'm right there with you. I was going to throw his painting you. of yeah. nothing after him. I'm going to assist in emptying this room of all of his crap. All right. All right. No, so, I'm going to try to like chuck it towards him so it lands near him. If there is All anything right. valuable, it's probably in that box. Give me a chuck an unsecured chest full of loose items. Check, <laughs> uh, strength, probably? Sure. Oh, now I roll great. 16. I assist okay, with awesome. a natural one. So, <laughs> so it goes very lopsided. So, you're so, so you're perhaps he just opens the lid as yeah. you throw it oh, majestically no. out the window. Oh, I sure do. All right. Don't forget your holy symbols! <laughs> Fling. I'm s Snag sitting in the bakery enjoying a cookie, talking to Friendly. <laughs> Shower of <laughs> holy symbols out the window. And there's oh. a. There's like tons of people out there. Too. Yeah, one guess, of the delivery guys is like, could you give him some trousers? <laughs> They're going to call the guards on him, probably. <laughs> All right, so he. Uh, Says, curse you, spirits, and gathers up a few of them and runs off. Wow. Okay. Whoops. Left most of them behind, and his clothing, and his paintings. 
Yeah, this so is quite a nice painting, I say, looking at the one of me being dismembered. But I don't think it captures my je ne sais quoi. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's you That's and, elfish it's for you, true essence. It's you and friendly being dismembered. Yeah, I like friendly. I mean, maybe we can bond over the painting. She <laughs> seems nice. Take so are you going to touch it up? Restore. Uh, no, I'm not much of a painter. I think right. I'm going to, but I will leave it. I, I'm right. not going to throw this one out. Yeah, leave okay. it here for her to discover. What? But like, what? the thing is, how, nobody's ever painted me before. So in that way, it's a compliment. <laughs> Uh, what else is in this in the room? Like, is there is there any? I mean, like you said, he doesn't have he did, he did, wasn't wearing his armor. Is there a really nice suit of armor in here? Uh, there isn't a really nice anything in here. Ah. <laughs> but uh, yes, there is uh, an old uh, rusty breastplate. Mm. Uh, you find more paintings, um, and uh, you would you would see like. Bedding and dirty laundry and Artist like tools. Yeah, half eaten clothing. There's a broken longbow. <laughs> um, half eaten clothing. Like moth eaten. Oh, or? okay. Right, moth, of course. Moth eaten. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how but, bored was he? <laughs> Thank you for the helping me. He also, <laughs> had, yes. he also had a goat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I discovered moths in my closet a couple of weeks ago and I haven't oh. found what they were eating yet but oh, they were clearly eating something. Oh uh -oh. no. Anyway. That is a uh, okay so there is nothing of value here. I mean I mean there may have been but we threw it out the window. <laughs> a room now. I, well I mean I could detect magic and see if there's anything going on in this room. So uh, mm -hmm. Friendly is is very happy with you. Now if you want to go ahead with um, not clearing out the monster for Hollow, you have a different room available to you. Oh, I think that we should go into like the nicer room that's not like a bunch of bedrolls on the floor, but we should also still do the monster thing because we promised Hollow that we would help. This one has a lot of bugs. There are fleas everywhere and... Um, An infestation, you might say. Well, <laughs> I'm sure they go away eventually. <laughs> I mean, fleas find their way into other things. You wait, are wait, correct. Wait, wait, can I, can I, can I uh, go downstairs and talk to Burlap for a second? Mice yes. finds a way. Burlap. Hey, thank you for that cookie. Hey, you're welcome. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. You said you're popular and you know a lot of people. Yes. Uh, can I, for a small additional fee, get you to find me somebody who's good at cleaning up bugs and garbage to come and clean out this room? Yes. Excellent. Well, how big a fee? Uh, <laughs> how about five gold for your trouble and then whatever... Five? War is bad with money. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and whatever whatever they charge for their services. Yes, I'll take care of that. Do you want me to do that now? Uh, if... Yeah, immediately. Why not? Yeah, why don't you go do that while we're doing it, while we're having our baths? Okay. Well, then I should take you to the Shrieking Gnat. Yeah, let's go to the Shrieking Gnat. It'll be very similar to what we've experienced already today. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's one one X in the things to do column done. Well, we didn't kill him, which is good. But I didn't actually want to chase him away. I wanted to reason with him. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I don't you're, see you're how. right. Like notwithstanding, like <laughs> I believe that you wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. I don't know how you planned on actually having that happen. Can but I tell? Can I tell friendly that maybe she should get the locks changed? Yes, that that sounds like a good idea. Cool. See you later, friendly, and I give her a high five. <laughs> She's right. starting to find that a uh, little bit irritating. Watch, watch, More watch, high fives, everyone. Uh, watch out for that. The, there's a painting in there that might be a, a little concerning. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, wait. Burlap, keep the painting of me. Don't get that one thrown out. Okay. Cool, thanks. <laughs> you should mail it to your mom. See I don't want to. I'm not sending anything to my mom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tell the, the cleaner not to throw away the painting of Mora. Okay. I'm like slightly disappointed that he liked me because I kind of want a cool painting of myself too. Aww. <laughs> yeah, but you would have been being dismembered they, in they the painting. They weren't good paintings. <laughs> <laughs> they were bad paintings. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So he leads you out of Baker's Alley. Uh, he leads you past the Beholder and Bucket into Chultown proper. Because mm -hmm. mm. um, this, this was right at sort of the outskirts of Chultown. So Baker's Alley is near Chultown. Right. And then sort of on on the border is the Beholder and Bucket. And then well inside Chultown, which is, you know, several blocks, uh, he's taking you to the Shrieking Net. You can see people are working on some sort of like 
big paper mache object. You don't know what that is. Um, you you see um, a couple of albino dwarfs. They wave to you as you go past. I wave back. I, I lift my hat. Which which <laughs> arm do you wave with? Uh, <laughs> just now he used his right. I used my right one. So I lift my hat and I wave my, my hat around and put it back on my head. Um, so he takes you into the shrieking gnat where there are a couple of tabaxi behind the counter and they say hello to everybody, but particularly to Donde. They're like, oh, welcome to the Shrieking Gnat. Uh, you just okay. recently arrived in Waterdeep? Yes, yes, we uh, just arrived here and uh, we uh, had um, got some uh, uh, problem with the, the sewer thing. Oh. It got everywhere, it was really nasty. Well, uh, the good news is that if you're staying in our rooms, you get free access to our bathhouse. Well, we already kind of have accommodation. Uh, oh, okay. So, what, 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 what's just the bathhouse? Uh, five silver each. Sure. Yeah. Let's let's do that. No, no reason to move. No. To yeah. move here? No. Yeah. We'll stay. We'll stay where we, there's a whole bunch of trouble. We, I agree. Yeah. We, we we should have asked why we were supposed to stay at the. The, we should we we, probably we should have asked, have asked Coral. Our Coral, Coral found us, gave us a job, and it's like we don't have to stay in this shithole anymore. We don't want to. We could move out, couldn't we? I just got us a brand new shithole to stay in. Thank you very much. Well, once it's clean, I mean, yes. Yes, and I'm paying handsomely for it because Mora has no grasp of money. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. No reason to. You're you're, you're right. Let's just go in the bathhouse. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wait, so is there is there a lizard's portion of the bathhouse, or can I take Kevin into my side? So, uh, if you want to treat Kevin as a person, they will allow you to do that. For five silver. Yeah, but he doesn't smell like the sewer. Is can I leave just... Kevin to wait outside? Sure. All right. Can I, I'll leave Kevin in the care of the tabaxis. So, they're kind of looking at him and like, those guys are really bitey, but like, they're usually skinny. No, no, Kevin is a lovely is a lovely lizard. He's he's the world's friendliest Malfanda lizard. I'm taking him on a tour of Faerun to convince more people that the Malfanda lizards should be kept as pets. Wonderful, hungry pets. If you if you if you guys import those uh, purple ferns, don't feed it to the lizard. Do whatever you do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bathhouses are in back. Thanks. Uh I, I wasn't planning on a bath scene. That's okay. fine. We are okay. clean. Okay, cool. So well, a little well, while later. Well, is it like a is it like an open bath? Yeah. Okay, cool. While we're in there, mm. then I'm actually just gonna fill the others in on on what Coral told me, because I didn't want to fill them in before we had a bath. <laughs> Donde. Yeah, yeah. You, now that we know who's running this place, you should talk to them when we're done here because one of Melf, uh, Mel Shaxa? Thank you. One of Mel Shaxa's former agents used to live here. In the bathhouse? In, at the Shrieking Gnat. <laughs> oh, at the Not Shrieking Gnat. In the, in the, yeah, in the Shrieking Gnat. Well, so, they had free run of the bathhouse. <laughs> uh, Nazdia Hoff was the second, was the, sec was the replacement. Uh, she lived here. Coral saw her a couple times, and then six months ago, she just vanished. Mm -hmm. And she was replacing the other guy, Boral, Boral Tars, who uh, two years ago hadn't reported in a while, and Melshaxa sent Coral to look for him, and he had gone, totally vanished without a trace as well. Apparently, he lived like near the entrance to Chult Town, so like maybe the Beholder and Bucket, but I, do, I don't know. Do you like, think, I didn't get that information from Coral. Do you think this is why we're meant to stay in Baker's Alley? Because it's outside of Jolt Town? Oh, probably. Make, that all makes Are, sense now. So all of uh, all the, of the dragons' um, uh, agents? A agents are from Cholt, eh? Um, you haven't asked that. Yeah, no. But I guess Coral wasn't, so. No. But it's just the ones that disappeared were ones from the Chult, one, the Well, they lived in or near Cholt Town. Hmm. Not necessarily from Chult. Right. But I figure these tabaxi seem to like you already. So Nesdia Hoff. Nesdia Hoff, H O F, yeah. Was was Nesdia Hoff a human? I I don't know. Oh. All we know is their name and a little bit about what yeah, happened to them. This is everything I know. Everything that was on the on the orders that Coral gave us. Okay. How long has it been since they heard from this person? Six months. 
Interesting. All right. So, All right. scrub, 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 the, scrub, scrub, scrub. The bathhouse <laughs> is painted to look like you're washing in a river, which is actually kind of dangerous to do in Chalt yeah, because yeah. it has all sorts of horrible river critters in the like water. Does this have like taxidermied river critters along the side of the Oh, good idea. Yes, it does. <laughs> to make you That's, feel like home. <laughs> but yeah, yes. anyone, anyone from Chalt would be like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I I feel like maybe they're, they're set up so that you guys from Chalt are like, ha that one's dead, that one's dead. <laughs> ah, that one's dead. It's meant to be like paradise more than anything else. <laughs> yeah. like, finally bathe in the damn river. And anyone from Faerun is like, oh, it's like Disney. Right. Yeah. This is so great. <laughs> oh, it's like a small world plays. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I feel okay. like uh, when when Dundee uh, uh, is like, goes in the bath, of course, the <laughs> fur goes like, plastic. <laughs> it. He's so much skinnier than we thought. But also revealed to be Ridiculously ripped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which you don't normally see because of all the fluffiness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna guess they probably also have like a series of like combs and like hand driven fans and stuff to help dry dry you out because it's tabaxi. You're running the place. They must. Right? They must yeah. have that. Yes. Not all tabaxi are as fluffy as I am. Right. And well, these two are are more like jaguars. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Than Palace's cats. Are, are all tabaxi are. In, in other places other than Chult, are they? Or is, is, or is that where they come from? They're mainly considered a Chult species, but they... Manual. That's what they're... That's the other name for them. Mm. Ma for Man Palace's cat. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's spelled manual. Mm -hmm. Or manual, but it's not. Mm. Or Both man, man, manual? Two different confusing manual. names. Uh, it's, yeah. Anyway, uh, so... It's a fun Google search. This is the end of the bath scene that we weren't going to have. Yeah, Yay! sorry. I just, it felt like a good time to fill everybody in. I agree. And it wasn't exploitative in the slightest. Good, yes. So. Tasteful, tasteful steam. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, what's the plan? Because Burlap has gone off on another mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we should, I think Donde, regardless of what the rest of us do, Donde should talk to the owners. Yeah, like I don't think we should leave. By the way, I just don't. Whether or not we, whether or not us being in the room is an issue, you should ask the owners about Nazdia. Uh, yeah, I I will um, see what I can do about. Uh, yeah, I'll say. Uh, do you um, do you know uh, somebody named Nazdia Hoff? Oh, she uh, she used to live here. Oh really? Yeah. What's in the bathhouse? <laughs> I, I, in the hotel. No, I'm apparently just in the bathhouse now, because I'm refreshing the towels. Um, I will talk to you after the bath. Come see us out at the desk. <laughs> I thought we're at the desk now. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, oh my goodness. I, 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 I was, uh, I was told she. So, someone that uh, that I had heard about, but I nobody has heard from her in uh, quite a few months, and so I I was wondering if uh, you knew anything about where she was. Yeah, she um, she stayed here for oh, it was over a year, um, and then she disappeared. Uh, so we kept her place for like a month, just in case she came back. Uh, she never did. Uh, so we've rented the room to another long-termer. Hmm. Um, how, how long ago was this? Uh, half a year ago. Oh, wow. Did she leave any of her personal effects behind? Yeah, but we sold them off. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. That stands to reason. Had, hmm. She didn't leave any indication about where she was going or anything like that? I mean, I was guessing she wandered out into the city and something nasty happened to her. Mm. No, because there was no indication that she was going to leave. She just didn't come home one day. I'm sure we're not the first ones to ask after her whereabouts, correct? So, guys like Steam, do you remember anybody else asking? Well, I mean, not particularly. Uh, I mean, there were the people who, like, come and sometimes, like, sell groceries. She was a regular customer, mm -hmm. but... No, no one really has been asking. 
Is there do you, is was there anybody uh, uh, in the hotel or in the area that was that she was friends with? Do you, do you know of? I, I I can tell I'm not being very helpful here. I'm really sorry. Um, mm -hmm. She she didn't spend a, a lot of time here. Came in. She wasn't even here every night. That's why it took us a little while to figure out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Uh, she had a visitor sometimes. But it wasn't always the same. Like, I don't mean there was one person who visited. There were, like, she would occasionally have a visitor. Mm. But there was no real... So the things we know is that she replaced Boral. Mm -hmm. Would they know Boral? Like, would she have lived... No, because no, she... Boral didn't lived... live here. Right, he lived outside somewhere else. Yeah. And Did... he disappeared a long time ago, Do so... Do you think she talked to them about what she was doing here? No. Probably not. Doubtful, but we can ask. She did not. She did, yeah. They didn't know enough yeah. about it, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, thank, thank you. Uh, um, if you remember anything else, or or if um, does anybody else, uh, or anybody you can think of that would be that that would know more about uh, uh, Nazia, please um, uh, uh, let us know. We're going to be uh, in the area for the next little while. We're okay. staying in Baker's Alley. Uh oh. Uh, well, if you decide you want an actual inn to stay in, <laughs> I hope you'll consider the Shrieking Gnat. We will. Um, there's a, an albino dwarf actually in the room she used to have. I could uh, let you talk to him if you are looking to see about our fine facilities and if they are better for you than a bakery. Or Maybe he might have found something in that Maybe. room. Maybe. There it doesn't be, hurt to ask. What if, like, she could have left something behind that if they were selling effects, but what if she left, like, a message or something else a in the secret room? secret compartment. Like, it could I be mean, something hidden in the room that he found or that we could... Sure. I mean, what's our what's our cover story here? We're tracking her down from her cousin from Chult? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, stands to reason? Perfect. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's go talk to him. See if we have any news <laughs> to report. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. Just so we can like get a look around. It's like the person who used to live here disappeared, and we're her cousin has asked us to look into it. That seems like more wholesome than we're just skulking around for for an unknown reason that we won't specify because we actually work for a green dragon. We, we both work for the same dragon. Yeah. 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 All right. It's so kind of like her cousin from Chult. It could be cousins. We don't know. One of the tabaxis takes you up to the room and okay. knocks on it, and. Uh, Albino dwarf um, opens it up and says, "Oh, guts! What can I do for you?" And he's like, "Ah, Grovo, uh, I've got uh, one of your countrymen here. He's considering moving into the Shrieking Nat long term. I was hoping you could give us a good word." And Grovo's like, "Oh, hey, Grovo! Nice to meet you, Bonton. <laughs> Bonton. Well, how's uh, uh Waterdeep?" Being for you. It's a very unusual place, a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, Waterdeep's a lot bigger. Have you, uh, you spent a lot of time here? Well, I've been here for, uh, I don't know, four or five months. Is that a yes? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a yes. yes. Okay. Perfect. Oh. That means nobody else has lived in this room because they waited a month and if he's been here yeah. five months. Yeah, he's been in there Perfect. since then. Okay, so it's like, we we were, you know, considering moving into the Shrieking Nat to spend some time. Uh, uh, in instead of where we've been staying, but uh, I'm curious to see more what the rooms are like, and I'm just, you know, could could we come in and see how, you know, how things are working for you here? Sure, come on in. Yeah, great to... Oh, you've got uh, other um, Joltons and someone with a tail. Hello. Hi. She's an elf. I'm Gravo. She's an elf. Yeah. An oh, elf? Then, then yes. Right. Is ah. that, isn't that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> so... Hi, uh, Gravo. I'm Mora. Great to uh, meet you. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> uh, great to meet you, too. Um, and uh, so he brings you in, and, I mean, it's it's a decent inn, but it's nothing ridiculously fancy. Okay. It's clean. Uh, it's got a nice window. It's a single room. Yes. There's no sort of, there's no... There's no closets. There's no compartments. There's I mean, no... there'd be a wardrobe. Right. Uh, there'd be, there's probably a desk. Couple, so a couple of pieces of furniture. Right. And It's like a holiday inn, right? Yeah. Sure. I mean, unless we're willing to, like, move things around in the room, like move the wardrobe to see if she put a message on the wall or, like, anything else like that, I don't. I think this might not lead anywhere. I but, mean, we can just ask. Yeah. Why not ask? Yes. Did you, um, 
when 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 you moved in, uh, like, did the previous tenant leave anything behind? Because we we'd uh, we're in the area looking for uh, a woman. Uh, I didn't see the Nasdia. name. Na- uh, Nasdia Hoff, um, and her. She's got a cousin back in Schultz who's been worried about where she's been, and we were, we heard that she'd be you know in the area, and uh, you know we were thinking about staying here, and he was like, "What the hell? Why don't we stop by and and you know see what the rooms are like, and then also you know maybe find out if anyone knew about where her whereabouts are." You just apparently happen to be staying in a room, which I thought was an amazing coincidence. Oh, that does sound like an amazing coincidence. So um, I didn't find anything really of consequence. Uh, some twisted flower stems. Uh, no, didn't find anything. Hmm. Is he lying? Uh, you can give me some sort of, is this albino dwarf lying check, if you like. Mm. I definitely is do that, not have. Is it insight? insight? It is. Mm. I do very well. Eight. On the other hand, Snack's barely paying attention, oh. I guess. <laughs> I rolled. I rolled inconsequentially low. So eighteen. I rolled an eighteen. I also inside is trained Ooh. Uh, to plus six. Ooh. So that's twenty four. He seems sincere. Okay. He he's not taking the question very seriously. Yeah. He's like, no, I didn't really find anything. Can I Just flower stamps? See, I mean, without without like moving stuff and looking really conspicuous, is there any like? Floorboards that have like scrapes and stuff. Or... Uh, do you have like an investigation check or something like that? I mean, I can roll for investigation. I don't. Ha- I don't have. So it there's trained. nothing obvious. Okay. Like if you're if you're just looking for big scrapes, you wouldn't need to roll to see those. But there aren't any. Right. Okay. This might just be a dead end. Might yeah, be. Maybe. Probably. But. <sighs> Meh. Well. You. I mean, you've never heard of her, right? They didn't. The, Nobody came by looking for Nasdia like after you moved in. There, there was uh, one kind of disturbing um, thing that happened. A guy, I think it was a dwarf, in a blue jacket, was just in my room one day looking for her, and then he left. But I don't know how he got in. Didn't give you his name nope. or what he was doing there. Nope. He just like dash out of the room when you came in or. Uh, so, I woke up and I looked over, and there he was, one of the local dwarfs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm like, "Hey, what are you doing in my room?" And he's, I think he apologized. I don't know. I wasn't awake. Uh, right. Fair, I just so yeah, yeah, yeah. I like guess a, he like left. A dark blue jacket, yellow, the yellow lining. Maybe. Mm. Is Coral a dwarf? No. No. He's a human, but yeah. that means it might be part of the same group of people. Maybe. Okay. Well, thanks, friend. Yeah. That's good meeting so, you, Grebo. I mean, yes. I really appreciated it. You I mean, do, Bonton. This is a beautiful room. You, know, you might uh, consider this. I quite like it. If you do end up moving in here, uh, let me know, and I'll take you around and show you the local dwarf beers. Oh, excellent. I can't wait. I can't either. It'll be good to, you know, talk about the old homestead far away from the old homestead. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're out of there. It's more yeah. fun to talk about than to be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like the uh, yeah. remember Cholt. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. It's like what is it? Loot? Is it loot fisk? Is that the thing that like Norwegian expats eat, but yeah. no one in Norway actually eats? Yeah, yeah. It's like ah, yes. Yeah, remember back at home when we all ate this crap? I'm like no, nobody, <laughs> nobody does. That's why we do it here. Yeah. A- after we've left, Fonten. Yes. You should make friends with that other Chult dwarf. So you can take him out for beers, and we can investigate the room while he's out. I'd say we're already fast friends as it, as it is. We could uh, could definitely go out for beer with him tonight. Perfect. You know, you do have VIP tickets this evening. Yeah, we have plans tonight. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow night then. We don't all have to go. I mean, a couple of us could s- scuttle off to uh, to his room and have a look inside if we're that curious to see what's going on in here. Uh, well... To, I, I'm actually like I was like kind of down on the idea of like running into mom and Avonihar, my stepdad. But I got that nice letter from uh, from uh, Haven. So you know Haven is an up and up person, I'm sure. Although now that I have a little bit more worldly experience, maybe not. Uh, anyhow, so we should probably check that out. 
You made a bunch of money last time you did a job for her. That's true. She paid me, but now I'm a little wiser. And now you're also possible. working for a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know, true. there was an upside and a downside kind of. Yeah, I guess I guess her her objective was very well succeed successful, really. I would say I've had nothing but a string of successes <laughs> on this trip. One I have rescued at least two Malfanda lizards, the one that got me thrown in jail on Samolo Plateau and Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's very happy, very well fed, so that's that's pure success. I have a tail now, that's like 100% upside, no downside whatsoever. Don't, don't metabolize bread very well. Well, mm. he's happy. That's the only <laughs> thing that matters, not his metabolism. Uh, so I have a tail, that's an upside. I have much more job experience on my resume, and... Uh, and you're now mom... a giggle dancer like me. Yeah, it's true, that's just more it's upside. Just... My mom was always telling me that I needed to get a summer job. And like I've always resisted, but now I have all of this work experience, so I could probably get a better job later. Sure. <laughs> okay. So yeah. it's mid to late morning. Do we want to try and uh, find Borals? Uh, lead on Borals? Yeah, I mean it's his is going to be even colder, but we can try. Well, they said that he was at the Beholder and Bucket no. or somewhere around there. No, they said that he was lived near the entrance to Chalt Town. But the Beholder and Bucket is also near the entrance of Toltown, so he could have been staying there, or at least someone from there might have seen him. Plan, let's go to the Beholder and the Bucket and get some beers and investigate the Beholder and Bucket while we investigate for him. Sure. Yes. The Beholder <laughs> and... Wait, what? The plus side to this is, is well, also... What are we investigating at the Beholder and Bucket? Beers. Not much. Nazdia, oh, okay. Nazdia is also going to have looked like looked into where he was at. That's true, actually. So if Presumably, we, yeah. So this will be yet more people coming to ask about Borel, which means they might have remember him better because they'll be like, oh, well, somebody else had already, like a year ago, or six months ago or whatever, had come asking about that. Maybe there's a better chance that people have been thinking about him more. There's like, this is getting ultimately, very suspicious. Ultimately, considering Nazdia disappeared, maybe we painted a target on our backs by looking for Borel. That mm -hmm. is my concern as well. Yeah, that's a, also Maybe we just ask for Nazdia and use our cousin cover story. We're fresh off the boat from, the boat from Chult, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, presumably asking about Nastia would also, if if somebody is waiting around for people to ask for people who work for the dragon. Yeah, and besides, my stepdad's from Chult, so I'm basically from Chult too. Right. Perfect. Great. Fresh sure. off the boat. That's how that works. You, yes. <laughs> What's Nastia's cousin's name? All right. You're the one who invented him, <laughs> or her. Well, I hadn't thought it? if it was to be a him or a her. <laughs> Or maybe a non-binary cousin. Why not two cousins conjoined the hips? Why not indeed? Why not? Well, how about not that last one? That seems easier to refute. Easier All right, to so disprove. Yeah. Nazdi is not a goblin name, right? And it's not a dwarf name. So are we to assume that Nazdi is I a human? I guess we could have asked the. I guess we could have asked the Tabaxi for like any kind of physical description. Well, we're kind of working into the thing that we're like, hey, we're coming to help her. Yeah. We probably know like what what race the person is that we're trying to. Come it's a in. little weird to be like, is she human? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're here Probably. on behalf of her cousin. Is she human? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there's mixed family marriages all the time. Look at my mom and oh, Bunior. <laughs> how about how about her cousin's name is Alfonso? Yep. All right. I'm Perfect. into it. Do we we don't know anything more about this other person, do we? Than we do did, did about her, like what they would look like or anything like we that. We know nope. Borel. Borel. These are kind of your long term goals. Yeah. Like, find these two. Oh, so so we can make short term goal. Ah. Getting some drinks and lunch. All right, drinks and lunch. <laughs> yeah. All and right. The Boulder Bucket isn't where the comedy thing is. That's a different place. No, that's yeah, the, that's that's the way ember. off in North Ward. Mm. All of this is in South Ward. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's the Toxic Ember. Where you know the owner. <laughs> well, I do know the owner because it's... Yes. It's, it's Haven Sora. How exciting. Yes. Oh, she's the owner. Yes, oh. apparently. Burlap went and talked to right. her and she wrote yes. a letter and so, for, for Mora. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So you're, uh, you're sort of leaving uh, Chult Town properly, proper and uh, there are some local... Uh, Humans kind of walking in. They're going to go grocery shopping, and one of them looks over and says, "Hey, Mora," and keeps walking. My reputation precedes me. 
Oddly. Do you, do you know them? No. How do they know you? I mean, aside from the fact that I'm a rad person, maybe people have already heard about my heroic exploits on Baker's Alley. I doubt that very much. I think it was pretty heroic. I took a broadsword to the chest and I didn't even flinch. <laughs> so. <laughs> did you... Did, that did, is also how I remember it. Did Mar, <laughs> did Mar ever actually hit you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, one time. For how much damage? I can't remember. Wow. Yeah. So not, it Several wasn't... badly. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't a small hit, but and, it wasn't a big hit. And it was a great sword. Yeah. It wasn't just a broad sword, it was a great sword. I mean, it wasn't that great. Well, no, it was it kind of rusty. It didn't do any yeah, damage you def to you You definitely flinched, though. <laughs> so... Beers? <laughs> so they come over, um, and this is manned by local water deep humans. Mm. And they come over and they're like, oh, uh, some chult locals. Well, we have a special treat for you. Um, Do tell. We have special beer it's made with um, chult herbs that we've brought in. And we have um, chult eggs that we can uh, fry up and bring over. See. We we get cholt beer and cholt eggs in cholt all the time. In fact, we just call them I, beer and eggs. <laughs> I would I, I would like to ah. uh, try some uh, water deep beer and eggs. Oh oh, then we'll bring you some of that. <laughs> Fine, water deep beer, cholt eggs. For me. <laughs> all right. So you place your orders. Yes. Yeah. Um, Laboriously. And, right. <laughs> And item by item listed on this stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. We'll be posting it in the Discord yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. So, um, you chat for a while, they bring the beers right away. Um, I'm assuming they gave you a selection of beers, you talked to them about it, you chose the beers. They have now brought you the beers. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any goals in the Beholder and Bucket other than lunch? Which arrives fairly soon. Yeah, when they're dropping off the lunch, I'm going to use the cousin Alfonso ploy. Alfonso, Alphonse. It's we Alberto. haven't told we haven't told anybody yet. So well, just choose I, choose one. Well, I, Graham's already written it down. <laughs> well, I wrote down Alfonso, but you could say Zo. You, I don't care how you pronounce it. Alfonso. Okay. Alfonso. <laughs> Says Mora a few times experimentally, rolling it around <laughs> on her tongue. Alfonso. Uh, so hey, uh, we're just fresh off the. We're just fresh from Chult, and we were. Uh, as our friend Alfonso said his cousin disappeared in Waterdeep, and we we're wondering if you had any leads. Her name was what's her name again? Nazia. 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 She was. She was staying at the 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 itchy the gnat. The shrieking gnat. <laughs> the shrieking gnat. Uh, so I've only been working here for a couple months, but mm. I could ask around. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Nazdia. 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 And if we If find anybody about happened her... to see, she basically was, she was living a few doors down and then just like stopped writing home and like disappeared and we inquired at the inn that she was staying at and she just like peaced out. So we just want to like... Figure out what happened to her. If we should be like, R.I.P. Nazdia, or like, wow, maybe like get a mail forwarding service, you jerk. So yeah, just let us know. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. You're really good at this. <laughs> so I should just send this information to the Mora at the Shrieking Net? Sorry, what? Is, is that where you're staying? No, we're staying over on like, uh, we're staying over in Baker's Alley. Okay. You can send it to the Flower Tower. Okay, I'll do that. We're not staying at the Flower Tower. Well, I mean, she's going to be by the time we get back. Maybe, maybe not. We're in prime dough right now, but mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, but the thing is though, like if nothing else, Smiley owes us a favor, so she can take some, she can take Her name's Friendly. Well, my last name's got Smiley in it. <laughs> at this point. Maura might not be very good with names. No, no kidding, she picked Alfonso out of the air, like... So your chult egg is, is basically a scotch egg that's half the size of your head? <laughs> yes, that's all I've ever wanted. I love scotch eggs. I mean, Snack probably does too. This is Graham talking. Mm -hmm. I want a scotch egg half the size of my head. Well, when you went to the Beholder and Bucket in Port Nyanzaru, the, the chult egg was the size of your head, so yeah. this is smaller than that. Mm. You guys made up the Beholder and Bucket. You told me all about it. Oh, you you explained it that it was a chain. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, we did. I remember now. 
It's got like crappy chult stuff all in the wall. Yes. Oh, it's like an yeah. Applebee's for chult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think you feeling. said Moxie's last time, but yeah. <laughs> like, we can't, we can't be expected to keep track of everything that we just randomly make yeah, up. And every stupid idea that comes into our head. To it. I guess right. that's my job. <laughs> flies, yeah. flies out of your mouth. Yeah. How's the water deep beer? I think that they gave you good beer. Okay. Mm. I was worried it was going to be like making love in a canoe. Mm-hmm. Mm. Full of water. And find that find that punchline yourself. Yes. Right? <laughs> um, okay. So, how do we find out where Borel lit? There's no second vowel in that name. B O R L. Do you think him and Coral had some like uh, some disagreements because their names rhymed to people that they were some sort of like? Their names don't rhyme. It's Coral and Borel. That's that's basically a rhyme. It's a slant rhyme. <laughs> Borel's name is one syllable. Well, Borel. why do you keep saying Borel. it with two? Because I can't pronounce it. Borel. It's Coral. Yeah. And Borel. 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 Like B O R L. Yes, I just said that. Phonetics Borel. is fascinating. <laughs> like, My God. Like, 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 <laughs> like, a, like a burl of a tree. Yeah. Like Borel. Borel. Are we so hemorrhaging viewers. If we yeah. try, okay, if we try to find Borel, someone's probably going to find us. Yeah. At, on the plus side, there's four of us and Kevin. On the. <laughs> We might stand a chance of not getting caught by surprise. Kevin's a ferocious guard lizard. Like, like, as a like, if if we were concerned about somebody being <laughs> suspicious that we're looking for people who are working for the dragon, yeah, like that ship has sailed, yeah, because we've been asking about uh, uh, Na uh, Nazdia. Also, when you arrived in Baker's Alley, you said her name and said you were working for her. Mel 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 Shaxa. Yes, you did. Yeah. So oh, right. it's it's very clear. Let's just do our job and ask about Borel. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, is the like proprietor, like someone who's worked here longer than a couple months around? Uh, probably there'd be a, a cook. It's the lunch rush right now. Mm. So um, there are there are people around. You just got a new waiter. I figure a place like this probably has turnover. No. Right. Fair enough. I mean, maybe we just stay here for a while, wait for to get quiet and then you ask around? I guess. So enjoy our meal. Are You've th already said, hey, if you yeah. Yeah. find yeah. anything out, give us a message. Yeah. yeah. Is, is right. Burlap still with us? No, you sent him off on another errand. Yeah. Right. That I mean, was a plural you. What, what was the other errand? Cleaning up the flower oh, right. tower. Okay. I think we that should, room will we, be quite nice. We should ask him about it, though. He's got friends everywhere. That's true, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't actually asked him about these people put out, put Is he the gonna, Is he going to be back any time? How long is it well, taking to find Well, he's taking it? you to the show this evening. That's true. He's probably, like, in Baker's Alley, right? I mean, we can Maybe. wander back there and see what's going on. At this point, it's probably the... Uh, unless we find want to ask our waiter, oh, by the way, we're looking for this other person as well. But, eh, yeah. eh. How about we just walk back to Baker's Alley, but also keep our eyes peeled for missing persons posters that say Borel. <laughs> <laughs> that are really old and like yeah, two, yellow, two yellow. years ago he went, he went missing. Oh, been he's torn dead. Down yet. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Correction. Two years ago, he hadn't reported in some time. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's just try to find. Two years ago is when they noticed. Boy, we haven't heard from Borel in a while. Mm -hmm. And they presumably argued about how to pronounce his name. And, <laughs> and then when they guy. finally figured it out, then they sent Nazdia to go find him. Right, Do you think the local constabulary would have any sort of information about Borel? Well, if we asked I'm, about well, him. We could probably ask them about Nazdia. Trying to chase down a two year old mystery is going to be tough, but Nazdia only disappeared a few months ago. Well, six. That's better than two years. What is the, what is the local Four constabulary in so, Waterdeep? Um, back. Before the time of troubles, it was amazing. You didn't want to cause any problems in Waterdeep because there were guards everywhere. They were well trained, well equipped, um, and ubiquitous. Mm. But since then, there's been the time of troubles. There's been, you know, the sundering, the second sundering. The watch is not what it once was. Mm. Uh, so there are a number of empty watch buildings. Uh, Places are significantly undermanned. Um, there is more mischief that people are getting away with in Waterdeep these days than there used to be. So, well, like a missing person, a random missing person in Waterdeep is probably not a huge priority. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the people who decide to dedicate their lives to law and order are probably still going to want to do everything they can 
they just simply don't have the personnel and resources that they used to have. Okay. Right. So if you're thinking, well, back in 5th edition, it was always too scary to try to do anything shady and water deep. That's true. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in 2nd edition, that was true. Uh, it, mm. these, it, now it's not true. Times change. Times change. Let's go back to Baker's Alley and see if, we can, if Burlap has returned with the exterminators. Yeah. Yes, excellent. So, um, the exterminator came in, cast prestidigitation, got rid of the bugs, and left. Now there's a cart out in front that's being loaded up with, with all of his stuff. Oh, perfect. Um, but not the one of you. That has been hung in the room. It's going to be one of those things where he, this guy's going to become like a... Uh, 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 a mysterious, like Banksy, like, like art legend. The term is outsider art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Whoo! They'll, do- they'll, they'll make documentaries later yeah. about like looking for Mar. <laughs> <laughs> His art really sucks. No, you just don't understand. You don't get it. Yeah, I'm going to be on the ground floor and collecting it. Uh, all right, so it's we the have second this story. We oh, have this true. thing with Hollow. <laughs> Um, but we sort of worked out that... We shouldn't go back to the sewers today. Well, and also, we think probably doesn't come out at night. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to immediately go back into the sewer after our bath. I mean, if we're doing the sewers this session, we should do it soon, yeah. <laughs> because the clock on our yeah. stream is ticking. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like, I guess, let's... Do we need to do anything before we want to go to the place tonight? I don't think so. The, the show starts later. Right. So you have several hours. You could take a nap. You could uh, set up bed rolls and so forth that you didn't have a chance to do yesterday. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah. Um, like we can abstract away. Yeah, 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 is what I'm saying. Yeah. Long rest if anybody wants to heal. There's yeah. isn't time for a long rest, but there's or definitely short, time short for a short rest. rest. Yeah, let's let's rest and freshen up and make ourselves look really nice to going out to the good end of town. All, All right. right, but it Mars in case in case sewer monsters return. Yeah. yeah, I mean, basically, we have two apartments now. I'll yeah. be at the one I mean, where the we said monst- we'd kill their monsters. Yeah. As far as we know, the sewer monster has never come out during the day. Yes? Yes. That is a true statement, as long as I add as far as we know at the beginning of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. so one short rest later. Mm-hmm. Um, Burlap is ready to take you to North Ward. You can use your hit dice to heal if you want. Oh, goody. What is my 2d8? I roll a d8. Uh, sure, let's do that. Okay. While we're walking, hey, Burlap, do you know either of these people? Uh, I don't recognize either of those names, but I know a lot of people. Can you remind me? Yeah. Uh, Borl lived near Chilltown. Uh, but went missing like two years ago. And uh, Nazdia lived in the Shrieking Nat. We asked them about it, and she just disappeared like six months ago. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll ask around. I don't know who they are, but maybe I can find something out for you. Okay. If you find anything out, make sure to determine what their race is, because we weren't clear on any of that information before. Yeah, it's we don't, very we don't, hard to ask after them. We don't know what Borel and Nazdia look like. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, don't if you find someone who, like, just generally, don't tell whoever you're asking that we're looking for them. Because Borl went missing, Nazdia went looking for Borl, and then she went missing. So we don't want to be next. So you want me to look for Borl, and you're warning me that people who look for Borl go missing? No, 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 no. Just ask if anyone knew Borl. You don't have to look for Borl. Okay. I think he got there. <laughs> this is one of those things where, like, when you say it out loud, it's like, like mm. yeah, you say it like that, it sounds, it sounds bad. <laughs> it's like, Brian, you do something very dangerous. But, but don't put our name on it because it might be really dangerous. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're heading uh, north. Um, uh, there's. Uh, a guy, a human, he sees you guys uh, with with burlap. And he he waves. He says, "I know where you guys are going. You're going to the toxic ember." And burlap's like, "God, you're clever." How does he know that? Do, do Great we, costume. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need a disguise for Mara? 
So that's a great thought, yeah, actually. Yeah, now that I think about it, you're right. So not only is this person named Mara, apparently they look a lot like. Does anyone have a spare cloak or something? Or uh, so you're having this conversation while you're walking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And up ahead, you see a human who's got like a, a bald cap with a purple <coughs> mohawk and a fake tail coming out of the back of his trousers. Uh huh. And he's walking in the same direction as you. Really? We just like should we just like casually like start like walk up beside? I was like, gonna be like, "Hey, are you like, heading to the heading to the show?" And he's like, "Oh, uh, hi, Mora." Who the f is this? Do oh, I have any idea who this is? No, it's cosplay. He's in, he's it's, in cosplay. It's cosplay. Yeah. What? Yep. As me? Yeah. Yep. No, I, no, as no, Mora. Not as you. It was me. Mora. I no. am Mora. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> I, yes. yes, yes, I am Mora. Mora. I appreciate your commitment to the Yes, bed. my dudes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I pull Mora uh, aside. We're all Mora. You need to cool it right now. But I'm very offended. And also you flattered. Can, you can, but very offended. You can, but a little flattered. You can but be. But still very offended. You can be a flattered all you want. Right now, Fluffended. you are in costume as Mora. Okay, ooh, what's my fake name? I knew that's the next thing you were going to say. Uh -huh. I need a realistic fake identity if I'm going to pretend to not be the best person in the world, which is me. Shall we Good, name her? just, lucky, and kind. All right. How about Susan? Ooh, exotic. Yeah, I thought so. You like those exotic names. Yeah, all right. Susan it is. I am <sighs> Susan. I'm an elf from Chult. I have a degree in, in advanced Chulto physics. That's what happens when you throw something down a hill in Chult. You can't be from Chult. No one from Chult looks like you. I'm. Uh, it's really clear those are your actual ears. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's Faye. I mean, I could be from just like Loudwater, where I'm actually from. Great. Okay, That'll I'm Susan from Loudwater. Here to have a good time in Waterdeep with your friends on the eve of your, I don't know. I mean, I probably should be in school. Maybe I'm so advanced I'm already done school for the year. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Great. Well, All right. It's a graduation field trip. We can say that your ears and hair are your own. Can you make the tail look fake? Can I? Uh, it's like, so cool. don't move it independently. But it's so cool. Put like, put like something around the base of it. Can I just like stuff it in my pants? Can prestidigitation work as a way to make things move on their own? Yes. Then that's what you're doing. <laughs> it's all I, Hold on, and I just like, I'm gonna tick, tick this tail down the leg of my pants. Okay. There, I've got a long coat in the back because I can see on my character art on the, <laughs> yep. on the screen that all of the other people who are watching this beautiful show see. Mm. And so you shouldn't really be able to see the tail too much if I don't, if I just stay careful about it. So you meet several other people um, playing Mora, and none of them cast judgment on you out loud, but they clearly all think that you're an inferior Mora because every one of them has a tail. Mm -hmm. It's true. Well, you really I ran out. out of paper mache because I was doing my advanced degree in <laughs> uh, 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 botany. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so. Uh, a half orc comes over and is like, uh, I have a spare tail in case of accidents. You want my spare tail? Yes, actually, I would love it. So, his his spare tail isn't very good. It's kind of like a bunch of vines glued together and painted purple. Perfect. All right, what's this half orc's name? Fog. More of course. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, like, you know, as 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 he is Mora, but I am Susan, he is Thog. Hi. <laughs> nice Thanks. to meet you, Thog. Thanks, Thank you. Mora. This so, is very flattering, but also I'm extremely uncomfortable. Also, like they're using Avu Nihar's last name, which is true. not strictly accurate. I will You're uncomfortable because your tail is stuffed down your pants. Yeah. So burlap. Um, make sure that everybody gets out of the way as you get to the club. There's quite a lineup, mm. and um, you know, 
as as you and Thog are coming through, everyone's like, "Hi, Mora! Hi, Mora!" and and he's like, "Hi, Mora!" back and Hi, Mora! <laughs> so uh, Burlap takes you to the front of the line because you're VIPs tonight, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, then they they get you to a special table right next to the stage. Oh my goodness! What a great vantage point for this. And the waitress comes over, and she's like, "Oh, you know, you guys are so lucky to be." at the VIP table, he is yes. so funny. Mora Nihar is amazing, that's a great costume, Thanks. by the way. Thanks, um, the tail's a bit bodged together, but I feel like I really nailed the face. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's good. Um, I think he might do a <laughs> bit tonight about... Uh, I just uh, like bop you in the, in the <laughs> leg, just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm blending in, Snap. <laughs> Sorry. Well, tell us about the bit uh, he's going to be doing. Oh, uh, I'm so I, I think it's about his homeroom teacher, Mrs. Uh, Guildford Thurplestein. Guildford Thurplestein! Yeah, doing it's, attendance. Oh my god, if only she could hear, see this now. She'd think this was great. It's my You'll favorite bit. You'll never amount to anything, Mora. You'll never amount to anything. That's in the bit, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's great. It just it goes on and on. You'll love it. You'll love it. She takes your orders and... Um, I'll have another one of whatever beer I had for lunch. And right. what's the what's the water deep equivalent? What's the favorite equivalent of popcorn? Because uh, snacks gonna need a lot. So they get you some of that. Okay. Mm. I'll, Just, I'll have yeah. three fingers of your strongest liquor, please. <laughs> Heavy duty on the munchies. Yeah. Oh no, I'm just like. Uh, <laughs> I need like snacks. Worried about Mora losing it, <laughs> but uh, it's just like this is amazing. Do you do deep fried corn flour turned into like crackly little triangles? Uh, so you you have a discussion about snacks. They do a lot of stuff with cheese. Excellent. And uh, they're good at the deep frying things. You want you want nachos? Cheese is such such a, an extravagance, but they seem to have it everywhere here in in Waterdeep. So uh, while you're waiting for the show, um, you do see Hyaran Sora oh. uh, off um, talking to the bartender. And she catches your eye and gives you a nod. Can I go before she, the show? Sure. She yeah. knows more. Oh, too. She says see me after the show this evening. So I'm just gonna, cause that's what she said in her note, which is feel, please come see me after the show this evening. Feel free to go backstage first if you like. So I'm just gonna acknowledge her, but I'm Kay. not gonna like go and talk to her, okay. cause she already said see me after. Right. Look, I can be subtle. <laughs> she says loudly. <laughs> 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 to no one in particular. To snack because it annoys him. <laughs> so snack, that's the lady I explained. <laughs> <all the time. laughs> but I can be subtle as I'm watching somebody make fun of me, and a lot of people dress as me. Some better than others, but most putting in a really good effort, and I'm proud of them. How do you know he's going to be making fun of you? Because nothing compares to this. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could never beat the original snack. You know that. Yeah. No. The fact that he's using yeah. Nihar as there his could last never name be, is not. There could never be another Mora. I know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, except prepared, you're in a room full of them. Yeah. Dante is prepared to take copious notes. Pale imitation. <laughs> yes, I don't want to drink a thing. I want to be sober for this entire exercise. <laughs> so. Um, eventually, uh, the lights are dimmed. Oh, it's been an eternity. And there's a drum roll. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mora Nihar! And the ah. crowd goes nuts. Yay. <laughs> and, uh... Nihar. <laughs> an elf, um, in costume looking very much like Mora, uh, walks out on stage. You recognize him instantly. Is this somebody from my school? Yes, his name is Nettleton. Um, Nettleton? Yes. He is uh, the class clown. And um, you certainly spent a lot of time uh, laughing at him in what you considered to be a supportive way because he was always trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. And um, you specifically told him that he should uh, follow his dreams because his mom uh, said, you know, you're always trying to be funny. There's no future in that. 
No one can spend their life being a comedian that's just throwing your life away, and you objected to that. Uh, in fact, you told us this story in the Beholder and Bucket in Port Yonzaru. Oh my god, I probably did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Um, you really I, saved that boy's life. Look at him up there. I'm being hoisted by my own petard, but I'm very proud of him. <laughs> Living his uh, best him. <laughs> Imagine this, how what what the kind of material a standard comedian that was like 400 years old could have. <laughs> well, now I went to school at Nettleton, so he's like 60. Yeah. So he's not I'm just, I'm just, a lot I'm just of lived experience. A, I'm just talking about a hypothetical yeah. like elf comedian. I'm just terrified of what I might have said offhandedly six months ago that somehow is going to rear its ugly head during this campaign. Mm. Dale's very good Cope at this. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, he hasn't noticed you yet. He's you know welcoming the crowd and thanking everyone for being here. And uh, someone hands him a note. He says, oh, we have some special VIP guests here oh, no. uh, this evening. Uh, oh, fresh from Chult, we have a Snack, and we have Bonten, and we have Donde, and um, he kind of locks eyes with you. It's a, like, a like, spotlight? Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, Susan. Susan. They're, I dare you to yellow Susan. They, <laughs> They did. Uh, they did have that kind of theater technology hundreds of years ago, and I'm sure they've got it now in the Toxic Embers. So, sure, there's a there's a light on your table. He says, "Well, seems to be another Mora. So, isn't that oh. uh, flattering and lovely?" Please so call me Susan. <laughs> I yell loudly. I'm so happy to see that you are living your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's truly the. Um, that, that sounds like something Amora would say, so well done. <laughs> now, um, make sure you fill your cups and get some snacks because we have quite a show Ours for you this evening. Ours are on the house, right, Mora? <laughs> we will be starting for you uh, very soon. And he exits promptly off the stage. Oh my god! And the waitress is like, wow, he never leaves the stage after a welcome. Huh. He's just stunned by my incredible costume. Does, I wonder if he knows us, like where he's pulling his stories from. If it's just like Mora's childhood. I mean, no, he because he's Mora and Nihar. Yeah. Right, yeah. He was starting to slow down reading the names before he even got to the name Mora. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is interesting. Um, <laughs> he doesn't come back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, that's our time. <laughs> for watching Dragon's Orders. That's, oh, what, that's no. what he said at the end of his... Uh, he's that's like, why I worded it that way. No, that's... <laughs> so, uh, please join us so. again next week. Um, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh shit. Wow. The, oh, little, the little red light turned on at the back of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. I wanted to confront him with pride and admiration, but also extreme annoyance. <laughs> Nihar! That's what I find most offensive here! More Nihar! That's why I've been so mad the whole time. I like that him living his best him is actually you. I mean, it speaks so highly of me. <laughs> <laughs> that you are some someone else's best life. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that's like, yeah, more is like, yeah, that scans. Look at yeah. me. <laughs> oh, we can bring chat back then. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Spectacular. Um, well, that is going to do it for uh, now. We're going to furiously sc scouring chat logs for possible embarrassment. No, I'll just, I'll a, just, I'll just let it happen. This is yeah. an embarrassment. This is fantastic. This is wonderful. So, if you're feeling bored. And you want to add all of the classmates that Kathleen has described oh, or as having Jesus. to the wiki? I oh, would, yeah. I would use that. Wiki.loadingradiorun.com. It, it is a little, you know, talking about chats. It is a little bit like, you know, that the like the quote thing, where it's like, whatever. I am a bucket. Oh yeah, yeah. And you'd be someone, like, what? When did I say that? <laughs> yeah, when when the, someone pulls the quotes up and we're yeah, like, yeah. when did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> so, Dale, how detailed are your notes for keeping track? Track of things the players have said asks in your seven nine eight. I wish they were more detailed. Mm -hmm. They're detailed enough that I can pull some stuff. Um, oh no! 
but they're not as detailed as I keep in a regular home game because all I really need to do is write down what the topic was and when you said it because we have it on record. Yeah. Right. Ah. Uh. What's so no? Oh, uh, SI Con, uh, SA Icon Junior. Isn't there also her rival, like, friend, frenemy that I talk about hating a few times? You've talked about several, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Laura maybe doesn't have a lot of friends at her school on account of being totally obnoxious. If you want to know, the UK version of the Beholder and Bucket would be a Witherspoons. I believe you. Okay. <laughs> Well, that is it's going a, it's to... It's like a beholder with a bucket on it. Yeah, yes, right? that's yeah. exactly what you described the sign as being. Yes, yeah, I remember now. That's Perfect. That is going to be it for our stream today. Um, thank you so much for joining us here on the D&D channel. Shout out to everyone watching on the Loading Ready Run channel as well. And anyone who subbed or resubbed or gave bits during that time. Really appreciate it. And we'll be back next week at 4.30 Pacific here uh, on D&D. That's our channel there. Thank you, Heather, if you want to follow us in the interim. Got a lot of magic coming up this week, if you're into magic. And the VOD, or the, the replay and or podcast version of tonight will be up this coming Wednesday. Thank you, Heather. Thanks, you're Heather. great at your Heather. job. For that. And I think that was everything. Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are just tuning in and you're like kind of like, what is going on here? Uh, you can check There's out lore. all of the previous Dice Friends campaign where apparently I made up this Nettleton kid. <laughs> you did. I remember now, actually. Yeah. I, I don't, but yeah. I'll take your word for it. Uh, so. Episode 7. Go watch yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> and you can watch all that on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash loading ready run. Episode okay. 7, yeah, True it's Believers. On the bottom of the screen. Yeah. yeah! Wow, Heather, you're so good at your job! <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? I was just going to ask if there was anything else. Because we, we can we can all leave. Yeah, no, yeah. I, think, I think that was it. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye! Bye.